providing a background is one of the most useful ways to uh, help help you uh, enter your model uh, and allow the uh, pipes to be scaled in length. There's three types of backgrounds that we can use and we can use uh, one of them or, or all three of them. Uh, there's grids which are scaled grids, uh, there are raster files and there are vector files and I'm going to illustrate each of these. If we wanted to, uh, here we have a screen for a new file and it's blank. If we wanted to enter uh, uh, or superimpose a grid we go into map settings and under grids we can turn on these major and minor grids. We have a lot of different choices here. The 1,000 foot major, 100 foot minor is what's shown here so that's what we'll take. We'll turn on the major and minor grids and go back to the map and we'll see that these are a thousand foot between the major grids and a hundred feet between the minors. So if I lay out a pipe link and go across approximately a thousand feet and I select that pipe you'll see that it is close to a thousand feet long. It's just three feet off. Now, of course we can zoom in and zoom out and these grids will maintain the same relationship. Let's select a new file and, and illustrate the uh, vector file inputs. So I'm going to go in and, and go to a new file. I won't save this one. And now I'll have a blank screen for a new file. Now in order to load either a vector or raster file we go into map settings and backgrounds and we select a file. So if I add a map and then I can go into my file selector and I have some maps here under DJW. I'm going to add this shape file which is a, works the same as a DXF file or a drawing file. And this shape file is now visible. I'll zoom to the selected map and I'll see this file and this is a, actually the layout of a intermediate sized town. Uh, this doesn't have some text information but of course it could. This, the vector file could have all sorts of information. Let me zoom in on this and I'm in on the downtown area. Uh, if we lay out some pipes here we'll see the lengths are scaled based on the uh, scale that's been provided. This for example is 4,000 feet. Now I can go in and actually put grids on also under map settings I'll turn on grids and I'll turn on 1,000 foot grids we should go back and see that this is about 4,000 feet uh, and according to the grid lines uh, this checks out. Now the third type of background file are, are basically raster files. Now these require uh, some additional effort to, uh, to load in and we'll cover this in a separate uh, audio video.